gonna talk about are five top supplements I think you should be using. Again, before you do anything, always consult your doctor whether this stuff is right for you and it's okay to take. But here's the five that I found are the most effective. We're gonna go from the least to the top, except these are the best ones you can do. First one, okay, pre-workout. I prefer Amino Energy by Optimum Nutrition. The reason why is the caffeine isn't too much. You take two scoops. The serving size is about 100 to 120, depending on what type of scooper you are, of caffeine, which isn't too much. Um, a lot of drinks are 200, some are 300, 350, which is, to me, I think that's way too much, unless you're a person who's really on caffeine or uh, multiple coffees, espressos a day, then you're not going to feel the effect. I only take these on days I work out, which again, though, is five to six. Leg days, sometimes I skip because I don't want to be uh, always in need of the caffeine, but... Amino energy though, has all the essential amino acids you need. And again, I think those for some reason give me a little more energy too. Some people will drink maybe a protein shake, a quick one, maybe an hour. Some people will do casein, maybe two hours before a workout. Cause protein in the body while you work out actually is a good thing. So I'll do this before. To me, the amino acids um, give me that energy. The caffeine obviously gives me the spike. Also has L-citrulline in here, which I love L-citrulline. It gets the blood flowing a little bit more. And again, during the workout, especially, you know, I use a heating pack, warm up my muscles. I need my blood flow at an optimal level so my muscles don't cramp as much. They don't, the myotonia to me when my blood is looser, it doesn't affect me as much. So the L-citrulline in here gets that blood pumping. To me, this is the most effective one I have used. Or we're gonna go joint mobility by first form. So joint mobility is great. It's the other ingredients in here is cissus. So you can get cissus anywhere. Okay, cissus is great. I use cissus for a long time. It's C I S S U S cissus. So I took a thousand uh, morning and night. That's what you want to take. So usually it's one or two capsules morning and night. Eat it with food. That's my recommendation. So I thought since this has been really good for my, especially my elbows, my shoulders, I had it started with my elbows. I had real bad tendonitis, um, just inflamed all the time. This helps, okay, keep the joints. My, like there's no more inflammation. It helps so much with my pain relief. This also has, this is different. Since this is great, I recommend it. That's the ingredient here. This also has proactin, which is just basically a lubricant in the joints. So it kind of just keeps and prevents it from coming up again and again. So since this with the proactin is the difference that first form has, and I think that's a real good addition to it. The proactin isn't make or break, because I told you cystis helped for a long time, but if you want a little extra lubricant for the joints, proactin and cystis helps the joints, shoulders, knees, elbows, Highly recommend it. Kept my training going. What HMB is, it's the byproduct of leucine. Leucine is the most effective amino acid for muscle growth and development. Now, this is the byproduct of that, which adding this in reduces the rate of protein breakdown. Protein breakdown will eventually decrease muscle gains, muscle mass, strength, so with taking HMB, it actually promotes protein synthesis. Again, that is building our muscles up, building our mass, getting us stronger. HMB will reduce the rate of where we lose muscle. If you're not getting enough in, or you're not taking supplementing your body or working out as much, we're gonna lose muscle. This will prevent it a little bit more and reduce that rate because it's not getting the protein breakdown. It's gonna promote protein synthesis, which is what we want in our bodies. Uh, this is why we take the proteins and all that stuff. But working out, taking HMB will help you make the gains and also not lose what we're getting. Again, with the MD community, HMB, this will prevent that protein breakdown, which happens very, very easily in our bodies. This has been a great product. I think this is why it's in the top three. You've been taking it for years. Highly recommend HMB. 
Down to the final two. Number two, protein. All right, whey protein is great to have after you work out, replenish the muscle, help recovery, help build that muscle back stronger. I, I use yoked. The reason why yoked has the price it does is because it is the best protein. The reason why it's the best, this has the most science and is backed up by a lot of data to prove that this reduces the levels of myostatin. You've heard me say this before. Myostatin prevents you from making progress and making gains and building the muscle as much as you can. This reduces those levels. If you had zero levels of myostatin, you can get as big as you want, as strong as you want. That helps us, that prevents us from building the muscle. So this product helps reduce those levels to make you continually to be built, get stronger, get better every day. So I take it whether I work out or not, I take two scoops. This is great. You can also use the packets with protein, even better, of yoked. Now, protein in general is going to help everybody. I would take it every day. I would say after the workout, take 30 or more grams. Ideally, 30 to 60. I wouldn't go above 60 by that time. Protein is just a waste. But 30 to 60 after the workout is great. If you have to take, you have to hit that protein source. I would say one gram per pound of body weight is ideal. Protein powder is essential because not, no one's going to eat 20 ounces of beef per meal. Right? Unless you're that type of person, which is great. I'm that type of person, but you know what? A lot of people aren't. I'm a little more extreme and I understand that. But just to get that protein in per day is difficult. Powder actually does help and it does work you need protein as you get older also your protein your body doesn't digest protein well the protein synthesis goes down your body actually needs more protein as you get older to continue to build all right it'll help reduce kind of the aging factors also it'll help you still build muscle but you need more protein your body absorbs it when you're younger much easier it uses it much better you don't need as much as you get older you need more protein your protein is going to be number two. If you've been following me for a while and you know my products, that's great. If you've been following this video, you're definitely waiting on the one. And you should know, creatine monohydrate. I'm so happy the more neurologists and doctors are starting to get on board with promoting creatine. Now, especially with the MD community, this is the one I would always recommend. I would recommend this to anybody. The science, the data, the research that they have done with creatine monohydrate is so immense. The, they've been doing this for 30, over 30 years of long-term studies, long-term side effects, short-term studies, side effects, positive, negatives, variable studies with MD, MS, RA. They've done creatine studies on everything. This is why it's the safest product you can take. And it's the most effective product. It's the safest thing. They have so much data, so much research. It's all backed up. If you are struggling to put on muscle and get stronger, this is the product. Especially if you, you know people with MD, let's target this to MD a little bit. Ask them if they're on it. If they're not, try to help them to get on it. A lot of the neurologists will promote this. My neurologist promotes this. First time I met her, you want creatine? I said, yes. She's like, good. Never come off it. You need to take this every single day, whether you work out or not. It will help you put on that muscle mass really quickly. It will help you get stronger. Once you, if you do come off it or you miss it for two weeks, you're gonna feel that plummet. All right, this is just giving you the natural creatine, a little bit of a boost. Your kidneys naturally produce creatine, but it's not enough. You're giving it a little bit more. Unless you're gonna eat 64 ounces of tuna or like 32 ounces of red meat a day, you're not gonna get it. All right, the, the amount of creatine that's in foods really isn't that high. You're gonna need a lot of it. So five to 10 grams a day, but you need to make sure you're drinking water. People are like, oh, well, it's gonna damage your kidneys, your liver, you know, your liver can't digest it and break it down. Your, your kidneys are producing it. You're flooding it with too much creatine. Okay, if you don't drink enough water, 
what will happen is your muscles will cramp and seize up. Nothing long-term health, but for that moment, you're going to be cramping, your muscles are going to seize up. Again, for MD, not a good thing because we already have that with our myotonia, so make sure you're drinking water. Minimum, 64 ounces. All right, that's four bottles of water. That's all you need. All right, just make sure you take, I would take at least one bottle of water while you take the creatine. I like to mix it in a protein shake. All right, that way sometimes people complain about, oh, it's grainy, stuff like that. Just take it with a protein shake. You don't taste it. It's fine. It's always usually unflavored. All right, yoked again. Best creatine, best bang for your buck. All right, I can't promote creatine enough. You got to take it. It's the number one product. If you ever do your research, you're going to see everyone's going to say creatine monohydrate. If you think it's unsafe, then look up the research. I get you might hinder your kidney production of creatine, but you know what? They're going to thank you because you know what? It doesn't produce enough. You need to actually take in some supplements. I am a big advocate. If I didn't take all the supplements I take, you know my video, I don't think I would be where I am right now, especially with my disease and my scenario. These products have helped me keep going, get a little boost in the weight room, rebuild, refuel my body, get stronger, get bigger, prevent me from losing that muscle. We gotta keep our body ready, keep it prime. These are the top five supplements. If you have any questions, can you can always leave a comment, send me a message, I'll be happy to get back to you, all right? If you stuck with me this long, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Here's the creatine loading phase. Loading phase is for six days. You got breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. What you're gonna do, here's the scooper. You need to take with a meal, one scoop, level scoop. It's usually generally five grams, give or take. So you're gonna take one scoop for breakfast with a meal. Lunch, you're gonna take another five grams with a meal. Dinner, another five grams. And before you go to bed, take the last five grams. This is for six days. You're getting five grams each serving, so that's 20 grams for six days. You gotta do this for six different days. After that, you can go with generally Whenever you want, five grams a day. You can do it after the workout, before the workout. I recommend after the workout, in the morning. That's going to be key.